In this example, we have multiple transformations happening at the same time. So let's use those to graph f of x. Let's start with the parent function, which in this case is x squared. So we'll use some familiar points on x squared in our table to begin with. Let's go from negative 2 to positive 2. Then our y's will be 4, 1, 0, 1, 4. And next we need to remember that there is an order to the steps when making transformations. The first thing we're going to do is we can do all stretches, compressions, and reflections at the same time. And looking at F, we have a 3. That's a vertical stretch. The others are going to be shifts. So this minus 2 and this minus 5 are shifts. So in this second step, the only thing we have to take care of is that vertical stretch. Notice that 3 is on the outside of the function. That means it's affecting the y values in a logical way. So we're going to multiply each of these y values by 3. The x values stay the same. Multiply the y values by 3. And then in the final step, we want to take care of any shifts, horizontal and vertical. This minus 2 on the inside of the function is a horizontal shift. And remember, when we're looking at horizontal shifts, it's the opposite of what it looks like we're going to do. This says x minus 2, but we're actually going to do the opposite. We're going to add 2 to each of the x values. The minus 5 on the outside is affecting the graph vertically, y values, in a logical way. It looks like we're going to subtract 5, and we will. So here we're dealing with all the shifts. Again, the x shift is plus 2 to all the x's. The y shift is minus 5 on the y's. So let's do the x's first. Let's add 2 to all of the x's in our red column here. Adding 2. And then the y's, minus 5. We're going to subtract 5 on all of the y's here. And now we can plot those points. 0, 7 is off the grid, and 4, 7 is off the grid. So let's just do the 3 in the middle. We have 1, negative 2, 2, negative 5, and 3, negative 2. And this is the graph of F.